I want to talk about the widget switcher today. So this is an area that can hold multiple different sub widgets that you can, well, as the name implies, switch between. So let's take a look at that. Uh, I'm going to make a horizontal box inside of it. And then I'm also going to make a, a vertical box inside of it. And then we're also going to just make an image inside of it and we'll fill both of the horizontal and vertical boxes with some buttons so that you can see the difference between all the different widgets that we have here so copy these buttons paste them in there and you can see as i select the sub widgets it shows the one that i'm currently working on so that's actually quite useful but how do i switch between these in the actual gameplay because if i now go in game we see i have my horizontal box uh, but how do i switch this over to my vertical box well, for that, we go into the event graph, and there we have widget switcher, and then we can just switch active widget, or set active widgets. We can either do that based on an actual widget, or set it based on an index, so set active widget index. Obviously, this is effectively just an array, right? So this is index 0, index 1, index 2, and so on. So let's make a quick little extra button on this UI so that we can trigger that. I'm going to do that outside of the widget switcher because obviously I don't want that to be lost when we switch to a different widget. And whenever we press this button, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get the current active widget index. I'm going to add one to that because we want to move up one. And then I'm going to modulo that with the length of the array so that we always get something between 0 and the end of the array. So uh, we get number of widgets and we just uh, put that into the bottom for the modulo and then we set that as the new index whenever we click and with that we can now cycle through the widgets uh, like this so just pressing the button it cycles through all three widgets obviously we can also make one uh where we decrease or go the other way around so we just make another button again and we set active widgets to effectively the entire same thing, but instead of adding one, we just subtract one. So we add negative one. Maybe a subtraction node would be better there, but <laughs> I already had this entire thing to copy over. And adding negative one is the same as subtracting one. So uh, now we also have a, a button that lets us go through the other way. So we can go through either way this one doesn't wrap around because technically it's going into a negative number and that doesn't really work with modulo though uh, but that's not really the point uh, of this video i don't think if you really want to uh make it deal properly with that we get our active uh, widget index and we add the number of widgets uh to that and then we subtract one from that instead that way it will cycle through with wrapping to both areas without any problem Again, this is just some like general math stuff that we don't really care too much about. But that's the widget switcher. It allows you to switch between widgets. Now, it just hard cuts between the widgets. It doesn't have like any animation. So if you have any like fancy settings menus that you want to animate in and out, this might not be quite everything that you want it to be. And you might still need to set up a more complex like set of different widgets that all animate in and out. And we're going to talk about widget animations in a different video. But for just hard coding between different uh, setting menus, this is actually really quite useful and quite good. And if you don't need it to like be all fancy and animated, this will really save you a lot of headache. And a very big thank you to all my Patreons. You can see them on screen right now. If you want to help support the channel or get any of the project files in any of my tutorials, there's a link down below to the Patreon page to support me or alternatively as a YouTube member. And a huge thank you to my Cave Big Brain tier supporters, which care more for coding than Impulse Control, Earl Monserville Erno, my Cave Student tier supporters, Oiku, and my Cave Digger tier supporters, Mauricio Ferrias.